Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about uh, KVM guest VM snapshot creation and restoration. When you work as system admin, this is one of the BAU tasks where uh, you have to do patching on your system. Your application team is doing some patch upgrade or application version upgrade, and uh, you always want to take snapshot uh, before the activity. So in case you have to roll back the things, it will be very easy for you guys. So that's the reason uh, snapshot creation and restoration is uh, one of the things which you should be aware. I've listed a couple of commands step by step uh, to tackle the situation. So first, if you have to list uh, all the current snapshots for your VM, just watch snapshot dash list your VM name. Uh, then if you have to take snapshots, that's very easy. You can see on screen watch snapshot dash create dash as domain guest vm is a domain name in this example dash dash name you put some uh, snapshot name in description that's optional you can put some description like this snapshot was taken before this particular upgrade on this date once that is done you can list the snapshot whether the new snapshot which you just took that's visible or not and uh, if you want to check detail about uh, a particular snapshot you can run snapshot info dash dash domain your domain name or your kvm name dash dash current it will list the current snapshot if you have to revert basically you shut down your uh, running vm then you use command snapshot dash revert the domain your domain name then snapshot which snapshot you want to uh, revert that's a way like your snapshot will be reverted and your vm will be on previous running configuration in case you want to delete a snapshot simple watch snapshot dash delete dash dash domain guest vm and snapshot which you want to delete so let's do a quick lab guys so here uh, i'm on my kvm host i'm running command word snapshot list for test vm1 to see whether i got any snapshot at present or not so there is no snapshot i'm going to create a snapshot so word snapshot create as domain in domain that's uh, test vm1 and uh, I'm going to name this snapshot here. Uh, let's say test VM snap, VM1 snap, and I'm going to put date. Press enter. It is going to take snapshot of uh, your VM. It may take some time. It will be not very quick because uh, uh, that depends upon speed of your QMO disk or the image file system so snapshot is created you can see here and let's list these snapshots again now you can see snapshot is created and the uh, state is running state running mean the vm is running for which snapshot was taken so that's good our snapshot is created and if you want to get uh, some information about the snapshot let's say snap this particular snapshot you can run wash snapshot dash info then uh, domain ID or domain name here in our case domain is test vm1 and uh, you can put dash dash current current mean uh, current is optional basically current tells if you got multiple snapshot if you want to get uh, detail uh, about uh, the latest one then current otherwise you can select uh, the particular one you can see here it is telling this is a snapshot name it is uh, for test vm1 it is current one state is running and location uh, is internal. Basically, that's internal snapshot. There are no children, no descendants, and metadata is yes. Uh, Sometimes the state uh, also referred uh, state running mean the snapshot was taken when VM was running. So both ways uh, you can take because uh, there are uh, contradicting uh, details on a couple of websites. So this running mean now. Uh, your VM was running when snapshot was taken. So guys, we got snapshot and let's assume a scenario you have done some changes you want to revert to this particular snapshot. So what you have to do now we are talking about uh, we already got a snapshot and we have to revert to snapshot. So for reverting, uh, you have to shut down your QMO or guest VM. So wash shut down your VM. So let it uh, shut down. So you can see uh, VM is shut down. Now we are going to revert uh, from snapshot. 
So what snapshot dash revert domain is the, this particular domain and which snapshot uh, to be used uh, for reversion. So here dash dash snapshot name and here you can put uh, this particular snapshot the name press or you have to specify dash dash running. So it will uh, revert into running one. It may take some time again. Oh, it was quick. So this is done. And uh, now you can uh, power on your VM. Everything is done. Okay, domain is already active. As I mentioned, dash dash running mean it will automatically bring that machine into state. Uh, so it is in running state now. So let's run what state list. You can see VM is running. Let's quickly verify whether that VM is healthy or not. You can take console or you can SSH into it. Console is easy. Let's take console. Number 15. Okay, it is saying another session is already active. Maybe I have opened graphical console earlier. That's still open. Yeah, this one is still active. Let me close it. Now let's try through putty. Still active. Something, something, something. Okay, this is close. Maybe. So. Oh, this is again uh, session. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's a troubleshooting thing for you. You can see uh, it's still got console. I'm closing this one. So let's try now. Hopefully, this time it works. Yep, it worked. You can see we got OS prompt. So our snapshot is healthy. And it put it five minutes back so everything good guys so that's the way i'm back on my kvm host you can revert the things and uh, let's say your reversion is done and you know like you don't need uh, the snapshot which you've taken you can delete it so simply wash snapshot delete dash dash domain the domain test vm1 and uh, The snapshot name which you want to delete here let's uh, copy paste uh, so snapshot name was i forgot snapshot name okay so what was the snapshot name okay let's check let's list out the snapshots and find the name it was this one so let's delete it let's delete it let's verify so there is no more snapshot so guys uh, this is the way to take snapshot to revert from a snapshot and uh, to delete a snapshot that's it in this session guys thank you